My favorite memory of me and my mom is I have a lot. We went as a family to Dollywood. My mom loves roller coasters. If you ever met her, you would really be surprised. If that woman loves roller coasters. Well, she does. She's wild. And we got on Mystery Mind. My mom has to wear partial dentures. She also has very long hair because she doesn't really ever cut it and she wears it up on her head. And we got on the roller coaster and we got to a point where we went uphill really fast and her partial came out and she lost it on the ride but somehow caught it before it flew away and her hair was completely down. <laughs> I swear, I, my mother. I love telling kitty back stories. You and my mom were always together. My mom and dad divorced and me and mom were together since I was two. We did everything together. I think it was really one big memory of just us being together all the time because I loved it. We seen the new journey, you know, we don't, it's not Steve Perry. She seen him when she was in college with Steve Perry. I was excited to go see him. It was a really good concert. We suck at driving anywhere else. So, and I drove and I'm pretty sure it was at Pikeville. They came to Pikeville. So it was, it was a good time. I have a really mean favorite memory. My aunt got a big pool, like an in-ground pool. And so we'd go over there and like play in the sun and we'd swim. And my mom can't swim, but my granny can't swim either, but she, that doesn't stop her, she gets in the pool. And my aunt had got pool noodles and I had finally convinced my mom to get in the pool. I said, can I take you in the deep end? And she was like, yeah. She'll literally let me do anything to her. She had a pool noodle, so she wasn't like floating by herself or anything. And I kind of like left her. Kristen. Kristen, that's so mean, but it's so funny. And we laugh at it now, but she was so mad. She got out and was like, I'm gonna home and I'm gonna leave you here. She's probably still like scarred from it, but it was so funny. We went to Dollywood one time when I was little. We just went down there and couldn't find a hotel, so we had to drive back. So basically it was just like a day trip. When you're five, that seems like it lasts forever. One vacancy in one hotel that my mom and two or three other people were arguing over. And I think she gave up, but I really wanted it because it had a hot tub. We like run a business together and we sell like leggings and stuff. Sometimes we don't do as much because we both work full time also. But then like, it's really nice to get to like pack up our stuff and we'll get to go spend a Saturday. Like we love to sit around and just like talk about nothing. And we'll just sit there and like, we'll sell some leggings or whatever, but then we'll just go shop at everybody else's booths. And then we'll eat a bunch of junk food, whatever they're selling. Oh my God, like awesome days. It kind of sucked, but the food was awesome. Like all we did for three days was sit there in the rain and eat. <laughs> and like, and just sit there and just talk and talk and talk. We literally still talk about the baked potatoes we had down there. My mom was talking about today before I came down here. She's like, I want one of the mafia taters. They were so good. Like at every festival we set up after that, we were like, do they have mafia taters?